Hi everyone, so now we will learn that how we can create a custom list with the help of map function in React Native. So you can ask a question like what is the meaning of custom list there? So see, in last part of this React Native series, we learned that how to create list with the help of flat list. And now let's say you want to create a list without any React Native feature like a flat list or anything else. So that time you can simply use map function. And this video is really important for uh, interviews also because in interview, maybe interviewer can ask to you to just uh, create a list without any default feature of React Native. And again, that time you can use map function. Why they can ask that question? Because maybe they just want to check your logical skill, like how strong you are in JavaScript, how strong you are in uh, logical skill set and all. All right. So let's start with the point. So first of all, we need an array of users, like in, same as last video. After that, uh, we need to use a map function for create list. And we have to apply some styles on that list. And we have to apply the scroll view to scroll that list because flat list have the feature to auto scroll, right? Uh, let's say if there is a 30, 40 item, uh, they are going behind, behind the screen, then flat list provide the default uh, scroll uh, for uh, list. But uh, map function don't provide that so that we need to use scroll view for that. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions like uh, which is better flat list or map and where we should use fab map function and in, in which case we have to use flat list and all. So this is our emulator and here we have our uh, app.js file. Here we'll write our code. All right. So first of all, I am just pasting that user's array list. This is array because uh, I don't want to waste time to just write it all. So that's why I just uh, copy and paste it there. Now uh, let's talk about map function. So this function basically provides the loop over the map. Same as, as for loop, while loop, do while loop. So why we cannot use for and while loop and all? Because they will not return anything. But in map function, we can return uh, whatever we are writing inside it like we are just uh, putting some text component or something style and all everything that will return as it is all right so now let's see how we can do that so first of all we just need to use their users dot map and as i told this will take a callback function right so there will be a parameter like item data whatever you want to use after that we can simply put their text and they are simply use item dot your any key. If you want to print ID, then you can put print ID or name. So let's say I just printing the ID. Here we go. And let's say if I just want to print the name, here we go. But as you can see, this is not actually look like a proper list. So I just want to add the style that we created in the last part. If you want to watch our previous video, link is given in the description bo box because in that video, I just uh, told you that uh, how we can create this style and what's the meaning of this each and every property of it. All right. So now I am just simply adding here style uh, styles dot we need to just use that equal to dot item and here we go. Now you can see that perfect list, but there is an issue. So let's say we have some more elements in our list. Uh, let me try to add 11th, let's say Anil, again let's say Sam, that will be 12 or 13, 12 and last one let's say we have uh, 13, payback, right. So let's just copy these item because there is a no issue for uh, unique data and all. And here we go. So now you can, so let me just put there last one is uh, Anil Situ. That should be the complete name, right? So that we can check where we are uh, just able to scroll or not. So if you will try to scroll it, it will not work. So for that, what we need to do there, you just need to just come over there and let's import there scroll view all right and now let's use this scroll view around our map function
like this and now you can see that we have a scroll there so if i'm just focusing over the screen you can see that there is a scroll and i am able to scroll it perfect right perfectly i'm able to scroll so with that way we can create a list with a map function or we can apply the scroll over there so now the question is if this is so easy then why we need flat list see so if you have 30 or 40 items uh, to just put in the list and this is a really small list that time you can use the map function that will be uh, really good because we don't need to just uh, use the uh, any predefined component because uh, flat list is uh, you can see that little bit very expensive uh, not very expensive but a bit expensive component right so if you have just uh, 30 or 40 element then sim you can simply use uh, the map function but let's say you have one or 1000 2000 3000 element that time flat list will uh, work better because if there is a many item flat list will remove extra items which are not visible on the screen currently so maybe they are the above or the just below to the uh, screen in the list it, it will remove extra items and it will just make the scroll smoother right second thing flat list also have its oven header and footer and this is really good for uh, lazy loading also right not lazy loading uh, this is for uh, lazy loading so that's all for this part uh, in interviews uh, they can ask two questions first thing they can create a custom uh, they can ask you to create a custom list second thing they can just tell that where we should use map function where we should use flat list and all so that's all for this part if you still have any question any query you can ask me in the comment box and please like this video and subscribe my channel thank you guys thank you so much